Part 1. In this video, we'll show you how to make an origami protein channel model by folding paper. This is a finished model. It's made out of eight separate square pieces of paper, and it can have two different shapes, either closed or open, depending on how it's folded. Here it is closed. And here it is open. Each of the eight points are the same and were made from a different piece of paper. These channels and others are found on the surface of cells. They work like special doorways that let only certain things, like proteins, in and out of the cell. Proteins are made of building blocks called amino acids and have their own special shape. Not only do they look different, but they have different jobs to do inside the cell. Some proteins help move things around in the body. Others act like support structures or glue to hold parts of the cell together, and some can help make reactions in the cell go faster. The protein we're making is a channel that sits in the outer cell surface, or membrane, and works like a door that lets certain molecules pass through. Some channels are open all the time, while others can be closed depending on signals from the cell or the environment. To make a protein channel, you'll first need to make eight amino acids. You can use just about any kind of paper you want, as long as all eight pieces are square and the same size. We'll start by folding a single piece of paper in half diagonally into a triangle. Then fold it in half diagonally again. Your paper should look like this. Now, open it up and flatten it out. Next, we'll fold it in half again, but this time horizontally. Next, fold it in half again. This is how your paper should look. Lift the side you just folded and press it down into a triangle along the crease you just made. Your paper should look like this. Now we're going to flip it over and repeat that step on the other side. Lift up the left side and press it down into a triangle again. It should end up looking like this. Next, fold the outer edge of the top layer only to the center line of the triangle. It should look like this. Now that we've done the top layer, we're going to flip it over and repeat that step on the back. Fold the outer edges into the center crease. And that's it! Here is our finished amino acid. Repeat this process with seven more pieces of paper until you have a total of eight amino acids. Now you're ready to move on to part two. The next video will show you how to assemble these eight amino acids into a whole protein channel. To learn more, visit askabiologist.asu.edu.